everybody. Hello. We're today at the Nullarbor Golf Links. So this is part of our epic journey across the west and so forth. We picked not a particularly good day, but uh, when we're traveling around, we're gonna take our opportunities. So it's about 18 or 19 degrees, very windy, a few drops of rain around. Uh, yeah, three days ago it was 44 degrees here, so we've gone from one extreme to the other. So anyway, this video will probably be the first instalment on our um, golf links journey across the Nullarbor. Hope you enjoy. Oh, it's straight as a die. It was straight. Oh, I hit a bird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cole. All right, let's show how average I am. That's beautiful. He's about to go for a very scary ride. Yeah. Oh, another perfect shot call. Ah, another scrubber into the scrub. Oh, sorry, I was watching the ball. That's not such a good one. Yeah. She's a bit worried about all the hot, uh, how much filming. It's a strategy of mine just to put her off so I can beat her. <laughs> so there were some beautiful shots and there were some awful shots, but not too bad considering it was our first go. Uh, and we've just arrived at the green and it's actually scrapes, which Cole and I have never actually uh, played on before. So you might want to have a look. It looks like you have to create a path to the to the hole with that thing in the corner over there. So maybe. Maybe. We'll so do that, it looks like it there. And I think, so it's a par five and at the moment Cole's here for seven and I'm here for six I think, so pretty close. Shot. <laughs> oh, that looked great. Well done. Par four. There's the flag. This looks like the easiest par four I've ever seen. I decided to be brave and try my wood rather than go with the iron and be safe so anything could happen. It went straight. But slightly facing the wrong way, but not too bad. I did not see it, I just heard it. Oh, it just dropped then, <laughs> over on the path. I've totally destroyed my tea. And have a look how far into the ground it's gone. It's buried. Right, so we 
found the ball. It's conveniently landed on top of this mound. With no assistance. From no the assistance at all. <laughs> Okay, we've uh, finished our two holes. Uh, it took us about an hour and a quarter. Uh, it was a bit of fun. Um, we met some people and had a bit of a gas bag on the way around and asked them some questions about the scrapes and stuff because we've never done that before. Um, but yeah, a bit of fun. And that's the conclusion of our first hole. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so howdy, we are now at Plong. There's a single pole to play here. the hole we're about to play. Wish us luck. Okay, Chris has chosen not to use our plastic bottle tea. Um, it's just too high so they may need adjusting. Big hit! Possibly over the car park. Beautiful hit. <laughs> right where I wanted it to go. But Really get any more film of the finish of the hole and stuff it's just a bit miserable today it's raining on us and so forth but um, that was just a quick show of the windmills and that's the one of the uh, attractions tourist attractions here in Long. Howdy we're at Nundrew we camped um, just about 15 k's up the road overnight in a free camp uh, we're here to play the one hole here it's a wombat hole probably can't see it too well in the background but it's raining and it's horrible and it's miserable and we're wanting to get this over and done with. <laughs> well this is not much fun. <laughs> we just walked about a K and a half to get to this and there's no signs or anything uh, and it's in the middle of nowhere. And just... we can't really tell where the fairway is. <laughs> see if you can. It's actually there. <laughs> we think it might be a par 7. Par 7 looks like a par 10 to me. Um, some of the obstacles are abandoned cars, which I don't think they're there all the time. <laughs> anyway, we're here now, so we'll give it a crack. Straight. I didn't see it. I don't know. I go a little bit left of that tree, sort of like one third. Yeah, about that way. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, what a it gets you. What? Yeah, me too. Okay. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh dear. No. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 
Yay! Howdy. Hello. We're at uh, Nullarbor Roadhouse today. Um, the next uh, leg of our golf links. So just a quick pan. We've been staying in the back corner over there. This is our backyard. And coming around. The golf course, well, not a single hole. However, we do need to be a little bit aware of the local critters. Uh, apparently, uh, there's a crow still balls from here as well, so that'd be interesting. We're gonna have to be chasing crows around today, maybe. Okay. Dingo's den, so we're ready to tee off. So there are a few interesting things about today. The first thing you might notice is it's actually not raining, so Cole and I are a little bit excited about that. You can also see that there is a fairway that is mowed and you can tell that it's a golf course, so that's nice too. When I say golf course, I think there's only one hole and it's very long, it's par five. Um, and on the way down, we crossed over what we think could be an airstrip, although we have to look at that. And we also passed a pretty good combat warrant, so not your typical things you see when you're playing golf, but uh, hopefully our balls don't go in there, because I'm not getting them out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hopefully we don't meet the crow either. came and nicked our ball. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know if you can see, probably down there is just a mound of stuff. There's a couple of balls down there, but he just flew in from the left-hand side, picked up the ball. It looked like he put it in the paddock over there somewhere, so I went and had a look. I couldn't find it over there. And then he's flown right down there to one of them big towers, and he's sitting there watching us, so we're a bit nervous now. We, we're hoping that he goes again and we can actually get it on film, because it was quite funny. <laughs> Yeah, the price of a golf ball. Yeah. Howdy, we've finished our golf links tour uh, a couple of months down the track now. We're actually in Shark Bay. But we just thought we'd just do a bit of a summary just to finish off the video. So basically you can get your card if you want to play in either Sejuna or Kalgoorlie. And it's about $70 for an adult to play. Um, the good thing is you don't have to do it all in one trip, so you can uh, do that in multiple trips uh, and there's no time limit on when you use it. And basically you take those cards into the roadhouses to get them stamped at each hole that you play. Um, and then when you fill the whole card you can get a certificate at the end of it. Yeah, we didn't quite get that far. We only did uh, three holes in the end. From our perspective it was a timing thing so weather wasn't particularly good as you saw in the video um, and the other thing that we underestimated a little bit was the, the impact on our travel time uh, so we you know planned to stay at a particular spot and then you've got to build in an unknown amount of time an hour or two sort of thing i think we underestimated how long each hole was going to take because you think you're just stopping to play one hole so you'll jump out and play it and then keep going but what we found were the hole, the holes were um, par fives. They were really rough ground, and it might take you a while to work out where you're teeing off from, um, where the fairway is. If you lose a ball, if it goes off what you think is the fairway, yeah, either looking for it can be risky because of snakes, or um, I was happy to sacrifice balls, but. Um, it can just take a long, long time in the rainy conditions, the rough um, grounds that you're playing and the length of the holes. Um, but it was good exercise, it break, breaks up the day, um, certainly worth doing. And I think uh, you don't have to be good at it, so you, they're just really scrubby holes and the experience is a bit of fun. Um, there are a few that are at a proper golf course in the bigger towns, 
we didn't make that, did we? Yeah, yeah, we didn't do any of those. If you do do them, then dress codes apply and it's a bit more serious, I guess. But um, at the roadhouses, you just it's just the two of you and it's um, just a bit of fun. It's, it's worth noting that you can hire clubs at each of the roadhouses for like $5 a set. I think you have to do a deposit. Um, but it might be worth doing that because it is rough ground and you could easily damage your clubs um so and it just saves you having to lug them around if you don't want to use them at any other point on your trip yeah because we had the full golf set uh, we did see one guy who was doing it i think he had four clubs in a little bag um, and that worked out quite nicely so he had a driver and, and a, a putter and a couple of clubs to get in between so that worked out quite nicely um, the other advice would be take a lot of balls or um, balls you don't mind losing because you do lose a lot and as I said I wouldn't go looking for them if I did lose them. Cole was a bit braver. <laughs> um, but yeah, you do lose a lot of balls. You also find a lot of balls so that's a bonus as well. <laughs> yeah, and now the crow at Nullarbor as well, that's not put on, that's not fake and we've read a few uh, a few posts about that and uh, <laughs> operates around the area quite a bit so yeah you did definitely come and steal one of our balls so that wasn't something that we made up and you can spray something on the ball something smelly like perfume apparently um which will stop him taking it we haven't tested the theory but that's what they advise um but it was kind of fun to see him come down and steal the ball so yeah just make sure you're playing with a ball you don't mind a crow coming and pinching <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, from our perspective, um, it was a bit of fun. I think if we go back the other way, we'd probably try and do a couple of holes on the way back. Um, yeah, so we enjoyed it. Yeah, I agree. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, please subscribe. And don't forget, check out the channel that, um, that we've put together. Uh, it shows you some of the videos of other stuff we're doing, fishing and camping and that sort of stuff. And hopefully a little bit of Australia too.